Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope everybody is having a terrific weekend and uh, for those of you who got to go to the CHA, I am very, very jealous, but I hope you have a great time. I hope you do many, many great crafty things and get to see new stuff. We are all looking at it online, so um, have fun if you're there. So for those of us who are not, this is part three of my three series kind of haul thing. So I finally got in my Studio Calico warehouse box, which I am so excited. I know Kim was waiting on hers too, so I'm crossing my fingers. She got her today. Um, but I have some other things as well. So I'm going to show you um, the few things that came in, the large order from Studio Calico, a happy mail, and then I'm going to show you something else as well. So let's get started. So um, first of all, from Amazon, I ended up getting this three piece apple pie memories acrylic stamp block kit. And it has the two by eight, the three by four and the four by five. Now only this one has the grid lines in it and that's okay. Um, I wanted this one for my long sentiments and my long border pieces. And even though it doesn't have the grid in there, um, I have found a way that I can use it as such if I use either my background thing here or on the image itself, I guess I should say. Sorry if you hear some background noise. Um, got a lot going on in the house today. So anyways, I wanted to mention something about Amazon shopping that you guys might all be very familiar with, but I just wanted to remind you when looking for good sales. This was part of a warehouse deal. Many items they have on Amazon that are, they say like all new or used like warehouse deals. It wasn't used at all. It just, it's either the last one they have or maybe the box has been damaged and sometimes the item itself has been damaged, but they really mark them down. So this thing normally goes for, I think $11, but I got it for seven and change. So, um, you know, take the time to look around on Amazon. Um, like I said, my husband, he's one of the sellers on Amazon and um, he taught me that when it shows you that there's more sellers down below. And of course I'm prime. So I always gravitate to going to prime first, but take a look at those other sellers just because they're not prime sellers doesn't mean they don't have the same product for a great price. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So got these three for seven and change. Great deal in my book. All right, next from Amazon, I got two of these because they also were in the warehouse deal for, it was an add-on price, I think for $4.95. Um, it was the last two they had left. And you know, the, the add-on item you have to spend, I think it's like $25 or something. So this is that little, get the box right, Betsy. Oh my God, there we go. The, <laughs> I'm looking at the screen. This is that little table tidy thing from Tonic and it's a system that locks into each other. So let's see if we can get the main picture here. You guys might already have this. So it has the main basket right here and then the two clip-ons. So what you're seeing here that I actually have is this guy, it's called the double pocket. That's it right there. So this actually clips on to the main caddy, which is much larger. And then they have these little single pockets that sit on the table. And now they've come out with another one right here that clips on. So they're nice to have for these types of little things if you're really trying to keep your desktop clear. If I were to move the camera around and show you everything that's like hovering on the outside of this cutting mat, it's embarrassing. As long as this is somewhat clean, I film. But you guys know how it is. Your craft desk is always jumbled on some sort. So I thought this was a really good steal. So now I just need to get this guy here, but he's $21. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see if it comes down or if I can snag a warehouse deal. So um, anyways, those guys. Then I think that's it from Amazon. So I did wanna show you, um, some of you may have seen on Instagram, I posted it. My girlfriend, Sam at work, she got me this, um, it was like a late holiday gift, but 
Isn't this so cute? Um, many of us have this stamp. I'm a craftaholic on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm on the road to the craft store. But I think it's so cute how it has the glitter and the, the scissors and you know all of these cute little things here. Sorry. There you go. You can kind of see it. And why this makes me so happy is one, it's so perfect for me. She got it on Etsy, but my girlfriend Karen, who many of you know, had also sent me this cute little um, coaster from Ireland. So now it's like I have the perfect coffee cup with my coaster. I can drink my coffee, my hot cocoa, my tea, whatever. So it was meant to be. Okay, now I want to show you um, what I got. Let's see, let's do um, Ellen Hudson. So you know how she always sends in her little uh, ribbon, which I love. I absolutely love her ribbons. I've actually never purchased her ribbon. I don't even know if she sells the ribbon on the shop. I don't even know if this is like a viable item, but I love it. Um, now what's so funny is I'm about to show you a Happy Mail and it's funny, but I'll show you why in a second. I purchased these from Ellen Hudson. These are the Pink Fresh the Felicity line where you you know have the running washi tapes that you can seal envelopes or embellish your cards with and this one says keep what is worth keeping and with the breath of kindness blow the rest away that's one of my favorite sayings I I just love these little quotes that they do here and these are more just you know die cut kind of ones and then and they were on sale for $1.27 I believe um, on Ellen Hudson's clearance and of course I got the um, the Swale and the Arctic Pals. I did not get the Strands die yet because it was out of stock. And yes, I've already been playing with it. That's a mask back there. But I love, love, love these sets. It's I don't know if it's because I'm an Alaskan and I'm drawn to Arctic animals, but there it is. Got it. So excited. I've been playing nonstop with them. So there's that. If you Oh, sorry. Let me show you the sentiments. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen them. But in case you haven't, get well soon. Well done. You are krilling it. Thanks a ton. This says, um, I think you are swale. Sorry, I put it back a little mismeasured there. Fantastic. That is, you are too cool for school. And then they have these for the bellies and then some other embellishments. I took this and did thanks a Krillian. Where's the Krillian? There you go. So I kind of like cut this off, like masked it with paper, and I said, thanks a Krillian. So it's like, you know, thanks a million, but thanks a Krillian. So, haha, got it. Okay. It was playing around the words there. This guy is just as cool. Ready, set, snow. We. Up top. This is so cute. Happy birthday. You're so cool, and I'm not even mad about it. Have an ice day. This one I think is so cute. It's one continuous stamp. Hi, hello, how are ya? And it's so cute because the card I made, I put the three penguins and I kind of put this in the center and it's just so cute because they're literally, hi, hello, how are ya? I think it's so adorable. This glacier uh, or iceberg, however you guys want to call it, is really nice stamped out. And I don't know if you've seen the flora, fauna, flora, fauna, yeah, right, flora, fauna that one they have a little iceberg die cut i was looking on uh what's it called a cherry on top the other day and they have it for five dollars so i was thinking about getting the die it's not this but it is an iceberg and i think it'd be nice with this set so very happy to have that okay <clears throat> get some coffee you guys sorry this is going to be kind of another long one not too long but it's not going to be short okay because of Studio Calico. All right, so next I want to show you um, a happy mail that I got from my friend Cheryl. And I am so excited. She was so kind. So she had this beautiful purple bubble wrapper with this awesome, like, it's like duct tape. Cupcake duct tape. Say that three times fast. Okay. She packaged this thing, like, so professionally, like, with all this cardboard and everything. I've got to step up my game when I send you guys stuff. So, oh, did I already take the card out? I may have. I may have already hung it up. Let me see. Nope, good, I didn't. So she sent me this beautiful card, and it says, Snow Much Thanks. And uh, I, I remember the stamp set coming out. I did not get it, but I love it. Look at what she's done here with the snow angels. 
Look how she put the glitter there. Is that not so cute? How creative is that? And I love how she's got this background here, this black and white. It really, really makes the card pop. So I thought I'd share that. I think this is so adorable. And look at her little signature there. Love it. Rogue Cat. And of course, a very beautiful metallic teal envelope. Matches that bird quite nice. And look what she sent you guys. The very same stand, or sticker set from Pink Fresh. This is like my favorite washi sticker set. How funny. Thank you so much, Cheryl. She also sent me this um, die from MFT. That's like a brand new die. Very, very, very kind. I'm. So, thank you so much. It's that beautiful stitch star die you guys are familiar with. And a whole entire packet of Cartwright's Moonshine 5, 8, and 10 millimeter slightly cupped uh, sequins. Let me see here. And you... I mean, isn't that nice? It's like a whole entire baggie of sequins. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I think that was so kind. And um, apparently the reason she sent it besides being kind is because she was one of the winners in one of the giveaways I've done in the past. And she felt like she wanted to send something to say thank you. So unnecessary, but very appreciated. So thank you. Made my day. Okay, next, um, let's get this out of the way uh, as you guys know i shop from scrapbook pal a lot um their pricing is phenomenal their shipping is literally same day it even says it on all of their stuff i've talked about it in the past when i did a um, customer service video about how i was just so impressed but depending on where you are in the country if it's before a certain time slot you know like four o'clock five o'clock they get the product out that day it's very impressive um you can order on a monday and have this stuff like wednesday morning it's really really good so i'm sure you guys are very familiar with them but if not that's their information right there that's where i get all my copic uh markers and refills the only time i wouldn't get them there is if they weren't in stock and i also get my um my nibs there as well phenomenal pricing and like i said fast shipping you never have to wait for them to be in stock so I went ahead and I got um, these that you see here because I signed up for the Kit and Clowder class, um, the monthly classes, and I've been trying to improve my coloring techniques. I really want to um, work on that. So that's kind of my goal this year is to, you know, really push myself and try it harder and thank god for kathy rakusin's 30-day coloring challenge because it's kind of you know helped me with both things i get to apply what alice from clinton uh, <laughs> kit and glowder say that fast kit and glowder has been teaching me and then i get to use a little bit of it in the things i'm coloring for the 30-day challenge so happy to have those okay actually i was going to do chow markers this time but i really don't know what the difference is but when i look at all of the really good colorists they all seem to stick with the sketch so i think i'm going to stay with that until i'm like really good okay now i want to make sure there's nothing else i need to show right now before we get to studio palico and i think we're good okay oh no let's do this let me get this out of the way a couple of you are asking about the mushroom does it pick up glitter? What does it do? So, um, as you know, there's a giveaway going on right now. So what I've done is I just put some random scrap pieces of paper here. Some I cut, some are actual die cuts. So remember, this is not a Hoover. You need to empty it, you know, after <laughs> you suck up a little bit of stuff. I mean, you don't have to empty it every single time, but I mean, if you're cleaning up your whole desktop. So here we go. Here's some papers. You hear it? gone okay here's some more papers now if I had filled up the entire barrel I would probably empty it but I know it can hold a little bit more and you guys are asking about glitter I'm going to dump some glitter here I hope you can see it on the um, the black top let's see if you can I don't want to dump too much glitter but there you go there is some glitter okay you guys see that? Let me zoom in a little more so you can watch the magic happen. Sorry for the bumpiness, guys. 
don't have our remote yet. Okay, so there's the glitter. I'll spread it out a little bit. God, I really put a lot of glitter there. Okay, here we go. You might have to go over it a couple times. And I'm blowing it around a little bit. The answer is yes, it picks up glitter fantastic. I usually don't have that much glitter on my table, obviously, because <laughs> I don't drop a whole entire thing. But if I sit here and go over it and go over it, yes, it, you can see it's picking up all the glitter. Now, if you have a whole entire bin full of garbage, kind of like I do right now, it slows down the sucking power, so I'm gonna empty that out. Just so you can see what I do here. I mean, it's a little, little vessel inside, so you don't wanna keep, and just so you know, when you get yours, you can twist this little filter out right here and um you know if you ever get like a lot of stuff in there i don't want to be too harsh with it this is your filter and if you ever get anything big in there you just kind of pull it out but that's that's your filter and then this has like a little mark um demarcation i should say right there it shows you that it wants you to match it up with that guy right there i mean really basic here and then back to the glitter <clears throat> so the answer is yes, it does pick up glitter. I've done it many, many, many times, but like a moron, I just uh, took the fan and blew it around when I dumped it out for you guys. So it does pick up glitter. It picks up small pieces of paper. It picks up, um, I've had some little adhesive things. I'm trying to think of everything else I've had that I, I've picked up with this. But again, like I said, it's not a Hoover. So you do have to be, you know, on top of it to empty it out. Okay, for interest of time, I'm going to just wipe the little bit left away so we can get on to the next thing. Okay, so now it's gonna be Studio Calico. Okay, and we're ready. This, you guys may remember, um, they had this huge warehouse deal at the end of the year. Let me grab it. It's gonna be long, you guys. So they had, like I said, the warehouse deal, and I believe it was $49.99, and you spent $10 for shipping, but everything that you purchased, I think for the rest of that month, which was December, right? I think December, you, it was included in the $10 shipping. Okay, here we go. This is just part of the box. It's a big box, so bear with me. We're gonna go through this together. I literally have just opened part of it. Let's see here. I'm trying to make room. Okay, here we go. Let me take the camera back up so you guys can see. Oh, wrong way. Hello. Okay, here we go. Studio Calco. All right, so let's start off with this. I only opened one because I was like, what is this? Now remember the warehouse deal is that you really don't know what you're getting. Um, there's a couple things, sorry, I'm zooming in. There's a couple things that I did pick, but the other things um, I don't know because it's part of the warehouse deal. So this was this really cool package that says happy mail by a beautiful mess. It's quite cutely decorated. And then you have an area here to address. And then we're bringing Thoughtful back. And what I thought was so cute, and I had saved it to show you guys, is that it says, tear here to release the happiness. But on this side it says, or you can tear over here. I just thought that was so cute. It's the little things, right? So let's see if I can come back a little bit. I don't want you guys to like get blinded. I'm trying to find a good view. Okay, so inside here, now there's two of these. I don't know what's in the second one, so we're gonna open that together. It may be the exact same thing, I don't know. So, it has this really cool block walla, uh, wooden stamp, this is Happy Mail in the like shape of an envelope, really cute, and I love block walla, and some little tags there. Cards, I love these types of cards, they have the best envelopes. So a total variety of cards and postcards. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm getting, 
only a couple of the items did I actually handpick and stickers to seal them. So that is what was in this Happy Mail envelope. Now, the next one. Oh my God, I'm gonna run out of room here. Okay, this one, don't know. I'm deciding. No, it doesn't feel the same. All right, let's do it. Let's open it. Why not, right? I paid for it. I didn't give it to the mailman. All right, let's see. Oh, it is different. Good thing I opened it. Let's make sure there's something else in there. Okay. But these will be great for shipping. I will use these to ship stuff. So it says another list. <laughs> so cute. Um, some random bananas. We're two of a kind. Oh, Fiki, you said that your mom loved cactuses, cacti. So um, this is yours. Let's see here. Engagement wedding something. Some phones. Turn my phone off for you. That's funny. That's funny. These are like stages of the moon I'm gathering. Postcard. I'm over the moon for you. Very cute. Look how bright these envelopes are. This is like going to be the year of the neon colors. You watch. Pantone's going to come out with like hot, hot pink this year. You are the best and the most... Uh, and the mostest to me. Cute. I like that. Now, is there a reason why he and OS is pink? Are we supposed to see something in that? Like one of those weird cars? Don't know. Okay. You guys see it, comment down below. This is kind of cool. It's like exploding cupcakes. Happy birthday. Different. Again, with the neon. Basic thank you. Oh, speaking of, Pantone, hello. Just wanted to say, it's just a cute postcard with color swatches and some stickers. This, again, from a beautiful mess. Um, just a bunch of really random sayings. Yes, coffee, I woke up like this, present date, mostest. Big ooh, OOTD, weekends, can't stop, won't stop, craft night, oh, craft night, bingo. And stand out. Um, a frameable picture. So that is, or I should say photo. Don't know how you guys want to call that. It's a piece of paper that you can frame. Okay, so that is what was in that Happy Mail envelope. Moving on. And remember, I talked about it in one of my earlier haul videos about the, the warehouse deals, the moving sales, anything like that that you can take advantage of do it they always have fantastic deals okay i got two of these these i did pick out um they are that hot pink um we are memory keepers they call it heat wave paper but i'm going to use it in my mink machine and you can see the pink there i don't have this this uh there you go the heat wave foil pen do you guys have that does anybody have that? Are you using it? Can you comment down below? Like, is, do you write with it and it foils? I don't know. God, I hope this works in my mink machine. I believe it will. I mean, it did that. So let's see. All right, two of those. This cool card here and this fancy gold wrapping. I'm, st I'm still bananas over you. Don't worry, they're organic. Very, very cute. And I like that this is like a really long card. I did order these. These, I got two of these. These are cards that say we make a great pair. And all these are from A Beautiful Mess. This big Pebbles um, sticker sheet. Just kind of cute, right? All right, next. Remember guys, I paid $49 and then $10 for shipping. Um, a paper pack by Pink Fresh. Let's look for the the knife. Okay, here we go. And we're in. Let's see. Oh, this is really thick paper, you guys. I'd say like 80, 90 pound. So XOXO. 
some shapes, grids. It's kind of different. Lots of shapes, some marbling. So I'm not seeing like a super consistent theme other than shapes. This would be good for scrapbookers, journaling. Let's see, what what is it called? Live More. Okay, maybe that's the name, don't know. I think so. All right, so paper pack. I picked up this. It is the Letterpress Ink in Teal Blue. I don't have a letterpress kit, but I thought it was just ink. Let's see, it has like one of those old fashioned egg carton kind of wrappers. Oh my God, there we go. Now some of the stuff that's in this box I'd actually picked up for some of my friends that I've shipped mail out to already. I ordered this box when I was on vacation in Georgia at our cabin. So it's just now getting here. So that's why obviously some of the people didn't get the things that are in this box yet. Um, so it's just a teal blue and I'm assuming it's just regular paint. I don't, but it says designed specifically for letter press printing plates. I don't know. I'll mess around with it. See if I can use it just like regular old paint. If not, I will definitely let you guys know. All right. Next is this bag. Cute little like flamingo kind of, I don't know, right? Like a different looking flamingo. He stands up. He's a pen. He writes. Cute. Okay. And then I ordered this blue gem pen. I had already gotten the pink one. Kind of cute. They remind me of pen gems, but <clears throat> excuse me, much, much more affordable, like a dollar. <laughs> I think this may have even been 50 cents, so much more affordable. And of course, you guys know I love Studio Calico's packaging. Now, these are two packs of, looks like tags, and these glassing bags. Yes, they're like little taggy things that maybe you could like add on envelopes, cards, I don't know, planners, journaling, things like that. So just in a variety of colors. Remember, I did not know what I was getting except for a couple things. And then it looks like we have some pieces of paper here. What is it? I don't want to rip anything in case I give these away. And there we go. Yeah, it just, I guess they're like, uh, almost like dashboard paper. They're paper, I don't know, just random papers. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Some cute little rainbowy kind of paper with some floral stuff, a heart with some grid. Okay, that. All right, next bag, moving right along. All right, look at the fun stuff in this bag, you guys. As you know, I have a few of these. Some of you may have gotten them from me. I love these guys. In fact, right behind me, I have one from my last order with the polka dots. They're like little mini tape things. I love using these in my planners. And just like on cards, you can see how tiny they are. But they're really high quality tape. It's not like that washi tape that you put down and it kind of lifts up. It's actually really high quality adhesive. So I got a few of those. They were 25 cents each. So some of those. And then I got some of these little twine things. Um, I'm pulling my nail. Uh, I don't, I, I think they were 25 cents. But you don't get a lot. It's um, that is what was kind of confusing for me, and why I didn't get them in the past. They were they were I think a dollar seventy nine, and they kept going down and down and down till they were like I think a quarter. But you don't get much. But it is quite thick. Um, trying to find the start of this guy here, and he's on like a little wood spoolio thing. This looks to be the beginning right here. All right, let's see. What's the deal? So you don't get a super lot, but 
they have carved it on like a little wooden house thing. Funny, right? Very creative. Okay, so that's their twine. All right, so this black and white one is thicker than the pink, obviously. So the pink, same concept. They're on little like balsa wood spools. So I got the pink ones for Valentine's Day. Look at these guys, you guys. Okay, I just ordered and I actually sent out um, from eBay a bunch of these little mini, mini, mini pill things. Maybe I can find them. Hold on, I wanna show you guys in case you haven't received them from me yet. They're right here. Okay, here we go. I've gotten these guys, if you remember. You can write notes and put them inside. So if you get one of these from me, check one of them because one is gonna be a note from me. You guys can see the little piece of paper or you can put your own pieces of paper, but I would recommend using the ones that come inside these because they're already cut for that. So um, it's just like, you know, here's some advice. I don't know, some medicine. It's kind of cute. You write a little message. That's why I got these guys. I thought they were highlighters when it said ball pen, but it's not. Look at that. It's an actual pen. Let me grab a piece of paper here. And it writes in blue. Isn't that cute? I thought it was gonna be like a little highlighter. I think that's adorable. So I think these guys were 50 cents. I don't remember, but I got two of them. All right. I got a couple of these little ampersand paper clips. I do have some other ampersand style paper clips, but these are a little different, a little fancier. Let's see here if you can see it. These are much more fancier than the other one I have. Very nice, right? And very thick and like stiff, you know, it's not like wonky. So happy about that. Again, I think like 50 cents. Don't quote me, everything was so cheap. So there's the other ampersands. Again, we've got cards. I got a few, all their cards were 25 cents. So I got some cards, some little envelope stickers. Again, cute little envelope stickers in pink with cute little sayings. I mean, you can put these in your planner and your cards as well, but um, cards, I thought this was funny. Thanks for that thing you did. I'm really gonna send this out probably on Monday. This I thought was hilarious and classy. Bravo, love it. These are, those little scratch off reveals for stamps. So I got some of those and that is Studio Calico's version. And then I got the Chamel, her Schimmel, Chamel, whatever, potato, potato. I got some of those little shaky shaker card, shaker sticker, stickers. Isn't that cute? I love that. Brianna had sent me some uh, shaker stickers over the holiday and I just loved them. And so I saw these and I fell in love. And also, if you guys remember in my Michaels haul uh, two videos ago, I had gotten some washi tape that has this unicorn head on it. So it actually pairs quite nice. So a couple of those. <clears throat> and I think these may have been like the most expensive um, thing that I did purchase. And if you're interested, it's an eight piece and it's called Glitter Girl. So. Studio Calico. Okay. Put those back. I mean, they might be sold somewhere else as well. I don't know. So that. And also, we forgot this. Looks like a bunch of tags. Oh, God. I ripped a sticker. Wow, you guys. This is not picking up on camera. It's not. Let's see. It is like really bright. This is like that bright, bright, bright orange pink kind of color that those guys on the road wear for like safety. It's coming across on camera. I can see orange, but it's more of like a pinky kind of, dang it. I wish it would pick up right. It's, I think we're going into the year of neon. Do you guys remember the eighties? Oh my God. If I can find it, I will totally embarrass myself and show you guys. When I was little, I thought Madonna was like the end all be all. And I would try to do my hair like her. I'd wear the one lace glove and I love to dance. Oh my God, I wore so much neon stuff. 
I was a nerd about the neon. Okay, sorry. Moving on. I got some Color Theory Poppy in spray and in paint. I got one for a friend, one for me, and then this one just to try out. So I thought these would be nice for Valentine's Day. Again, I thought these would be here much, much faster. I expected these like the first week in January. So um, I don't know, I'll get them out as fast as I can. But really great, great prices. Next bag. Uh, another Studio Calico little um, winder stamper. I don't know, what do you guys want to call this? Variety stamper. So it says, I made this, tell a story, think big, my big ideas, enough time, that's physically a paintbrush. Then you have scissors, then handmade, um, cut and paste, create a pencil maker i made this and then it repeats i got the little uh studio calico gold it reminds me of um what's it called color theory all right you guys know the ones i'm talking about oh well who makes them these ones that look like that but it's not studio calico anyways gold and then something else they're really good about their packaging. Learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. I am an artist. Oh, these would be great to do the pocket letters. I made this. As you guys know, I've been mentioning I need to step up my game and send Kim a pocket letter. I'm really slacking in that. Blank canvas. Let's try and make something beautiful and make, 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 make. Creativity is not a competition, very important. I totally agree with that. I love everyone's art. You know, I just, everyone has such a different view and a different technique and there's no art that I do not like. I just, I love art. I love it in music, I love it in canvas and everything. I make neat things like this, that's kind of cool. And then some colored pencils. Very neat. These could even double as, you know, some type of postcard or something. Okay, so done with those guys. We are halfway done, guys. So keep sipping that coffee. All right, next bag. I love these bags. Um, I remember I had sent one to Vaughn Marie one time, and I believe she said her husband liked it. That's interesting. I wonder what he does. I wonder if he's an artist. Maybe I'll send her another one. So these are like these big paper clamps um, with a B, which is my family nickname. I think these are so cute and they're pink. A stamp set that says uh, one little bird and it has the days of the week, numbers, and a bullet bracket, the bullet bracket, bracket. Um, don't know, oh, it's a little pocket for like a little book. I don't have a book like that, but you know what I do have? I have two sets of hole punchers for different journal planners, so I could turn this into uh, any planner I wanted. Stickers. I love their glassing bags. I'm such a nerd. I love the glassing bags. Okay. All right, good weather today, some basic stuff, strawberries, my garden, sunshine and happiness. All right, I don't think that really needed an entire bag on its own, but it's not my company. Okay, so these are like numbers. These look like more sayings. Okay, so we've got some arrows, hearts, things like that in there. These things, does it open here? Yeah. Oh, don't rip. Sorry about that background noise, guys. <clears throat> All right. Here we go, let's see, what does this say? Um, AM, today anything is possible, PM, on the menu, weekend, so these are really, um, you know, planner type of stickers. And I hope some of you that are watching right now 
are either planner people or want to become planner people. Stay tuned, you're gonna see why. And some random paper, okay. So that is what is in, oh, and it was a March 17th. So this was one of those um, planner kits and it was for March, obviously. So that goes back in this one. This is how they do their kits, is in these really nice bags, if you guys are not familiar with Studio Calico. All right, next one. Oh God, I need more space, okay. This one is really cool, I can see already. All right. So we have got some negative and positive wood hearts there. Very tiny, very cool. This thing is like foamy plasticky that says nope. This thing was packed by Aubrey. Thanks, Aubrey. All right, a very cool stamp set that is actually quite large. But let's see, photographic proof, real life looks like, evidence, do over, embrace the mess. It seemed like a good idea at the time. So this must be the documenter's um, kit. Some very random stickers. Hmm. Are those stickers or? No, they look more like a bookmark. What is that? Maybe a bookmark. Okay. Some like vellum type of like hearts, like waxy, like not so much vellum, but more like waxy type of hearts, stickers. Uh, gold foiled hearts. Some epoxy those are like actually really thick epoxy alphabet stickers in a flesh type of color these i love i love their sane stickers i have so many and i use them more than you would know like even on cards on um like cards we make random cards i'm sending out on the envelopes and in my planner kapow that's funny makes me happy some good ones 1,000% yes, love it. And then some twine and ink epoxy uh, little dots, epoxy dots. And then this is definitely the documenter's kit because, or the journalers, it has these little cards. Now these are what I've been using lately to do any type of either pocket letter or those like flip book kind of things. Sometimes I just kind of cut them down, and other times um, I just put them in whole and let whoever the recipient is do whatever they want with them. So let's see here. Okay, February 16, so another February one. So this is gonna be good for Valentine's Day. So the little two by threes or three by fours, whatever this is. Pink makes me happy, that's very cute with the the gold foiling, February. You guys get the idea. They're just really fun little journal cards, pocket cards. Love, 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 love. So these are a really good thing to get you started on your pocket letters. So I may use those to make my February pocket letter. Very cute. Okay. Sorry I'm not spending time on every single card, you guys. I just, I don't want to bore you. And also, if you're not into pocket letters or the journaling stuff, that won't be of interest to you. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one is this guy. This is kind of cool. I see something back here and right here. Let's open it up. Wait till you see what's at the end. Remember, I didn't know what I was getting except for the few things that I told you that I did buy, such as the paints, the tape and those little ballpoint pens. All right. A beautiful mess. Are these both? Let's see here. This one says something and I want to see what it says. Take me to the beach. And this one has glasses on it. So very cute. They're just like those little like Brad pin kind of things, button pins. Okay, a huge sheet of beautiful baby pink um, alphabet stickers, all in uppercase, very nice. Looks like there's some stickers here. Again, with that waxy type of look. 
cozy days, yes please, guilty pleasure, let's sleep in, coffee, 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 pizza, 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 thumbs up forever. I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of, sorry guys, side conversation, I'm seeing a lot of pizza stuff, like pizza is my valentine, something, I'd rather eat, whatever, I'd rather eat pizza than blank. I am not a pizza person. Is that like something, did I miss like, did I miss that app or that, that addiction? Is pizza your guys' favorite? I just, I always thought that was more of like a college thing or um, a guy thing. I don't know, I'm just not really that into pizza. But my point is I've been seeing a lot of like pizza type of things lately. And I was just like, hmm, I wonder why pizza is becoming so popular. All right, back to the box. This is this huge lip mouth acetate thing that you could cut up into a bazillion little shaker cards, pieces, etc. So very, very cool. I wonder if we could color on that too, because you know some acetate, you could take your Sharpie marker alcohol and kind of cover color on the back, like turn some of these lips different shades of pink or red. That'd be cool. And then, oh, here we go. We've got the paper that matches. So yet another bag. Wow. Okay. So what is this? Okay. Colored. Oh, tie-dye-ish. Okay, like hologrammy. And then like hog like ombre water. Very cool. That's actually a really nice mix. Very cute. I do like that for Valentine's Day. So that acetate's actually quite nice. Stickers. And then we have a whole entire pack of something here. Oh, shamrocks. Oh, we also have this. So we've got the buttons and these little like silver chipboards that have different sayings. Let me show you guys. 100% estimated something, no way. So they just say like a little different saying. Oh, I guess existing from 2016 something they're like little sayings in there okay let's see this guy i don't want to cut the paper okay i'd also like to know what you guys got for any of you that did the studio calico um warehouse deal end of the year thing i would love to see what you guys got too i would be curious to see if we all got the same thing or it's mixed up how how they did this okay so these look like just okay they're just like three by three I thought maybe they're little pockets heart eyes thumbs up forever guilty pleasure my heart is full and there are images on the back as well a horseshoe a key movie and popcorn let's stay home let's sleep in a nice little fishtail braid there vibes online let's see here and I can't separate it there we go tonight's forecast 100% 100% chance of pizza what was I just saying I'm serious you guys what is the deal with pizza I think I missed a memo I'm getting old I really am I don't know if there is something going on with pizza please catch me up I need to talk to my son all I need is my camera and coffee, and yes, please. I actually do like that holographic foil, because it's not just silver. It's that, that's what I need to buy. I need to get some of that holographic foil. I really do like the way that looks. Okay, so it looks like we are done with that package. Very cool, right, with all that silver hologrammy stuff. All right, we have two more in here, and then the big finale. Oh my God, I just dropped all the cards. Bear with me. Okay. At least I can still stand up. I'm not that old. All right. This bag. Let's see if there's anything else. I think we're good. Okay. So some washi tapes, green stripes. These are like a pink florally kind of thing. Nice wide pink floral. Um, some pink, pink stripe paper with like color swatches. It's actually called the swatch book. 
some abstracty stuff. This one's called Trellis. So four sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. An Easter die, very nice. These look like acetate alphabets in like a peachy kind of color. And I'm noticing that a lot of this a beautiful mess. I wonder if that's actually Studio Calico's line. I'm assuming it is. More color theory um, paint. And this is in Blush Crush. More stickers that I love. Like I told you guys, I love their stickers. Phone, rent, medical, really important. What is this? So I guess that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Pay, appointment, need <laughs> needs to happen eventually. That, I think they need to make a stamp because I always have like the to do, must do. Really, you need to do this, like in my planner. That's funny. Gym, vacay, trash, vet, bill, goal setting. And then we have the same thing here. A goal without a plan is just a wish and other stuff. So cute. Um, we have some more like label green stickers there. Lime green, which is nice. I just ordered some lime green uh, dye ink and embossing powder, so that'll match nice. And some uppercase large alphabet stickers there. Oh, more dyes. It's a concentric egg. Look at that. So I've got the Easter and the egg. How about that? Some purple little stickers like bookmarks and uh, little markers for your planner or whatever. A random blue tag. Um, this looks interesting. They're like plastic. Let's see. Can you see that? They almost remind me of like a hospital band. So I don't know what you would put those on. I guess you could put some brads through there. Oh yeah. Put some brads through there and put them on one of those manila flip books things like Patty taught me. Oh, a pen. What is this? It's really matte feeling. You know, like like rubbery matte. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's a cover on it. Hello. Oh god, it's oh god. It's a really thin tip. My bad. This thing is like a 0 .03, and here I am just running it across the paper. You guys see that? Probably not. Let me, oh, we had it. We had it. There it is. You guys see how tiny that is? It's a really tiny point. And here I was just running it across. Okay, so that's going to be great for detail work. But what's really interesting about this is that this is like a, like a matte rubber, you know, almost like a, like a velvet or something. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, there's that. <clears throat> Next. Oh, this is cool. I can already tell you who's going to be getting these ones here. I have a few really devout Christians in my, in my friend list. Okay. By his wounds, we are healed with the uh, crown of thorns there. That's beautiful. Look at that gold. No greater love. I'm sorry, I just, the words Victoria are just in my ear, Victoria, 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 <laughs> sorry Victoria for watching, but this just has your name all over it. I know that my Redeemer lives. He has risen. Oh, how he loves us. Be still and know that I am God. Amazing grace. You are loved more than you will ever know. Forgiven. And then back to the start. <clears throat> so that, yeah, that has uh, a couple people's name all over it. All right. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, another stamp, well, another die, a stamp set with a die. So it looks like you've got a variety of eggs that you can put together with a little rabbit and duck or chick. You're a good egg, hip hop. And this is gonna be your happy Easter. Very cute, right? How nice, an entire stamp set with the die. That's gonna be a really nice giveaway. If you guys are interested, stay tuned because I'm not keeping all this stuff, obviously. So this is purple and gold. 
very nice. And remember, if you guys are planners or want to be planners, get ready to leave a comment. <clears throat> okay, so that one's the purple and gold. This one's green and gold, and again, a green and gold. I guess these could be used with anything, but they really lend themselves to bullet journals, planners, scrapbookers. Sorry for the noise. All right, glassine paper. All right, so we have one last envelope and then the big finale. I feel like I need a little drummer boy in the corner. Okay, put this guy over here. And let's open this one up. Remember you guys, $49 plus $10 shipping. All right. So I've already gotten some of these. I framed the one for me and I still have a couple I wanna frame and get them out to you guys. Um, you know, have it matted and framed, but this is my word. It has been for eons, the best things come to those who hustle. I believe it. If you go after something, it's yours. You just have to go after it. And more of this floral type of paper with some grid on the background and some nice steel gray paper. Okay, so that's that. Now, you guys ready? This is the end of the video and what I was kind of blown away about. They gave me six planners. Yes, they say 2017, I'm not gonna lie, or 2017, 2017, but that's okay. I'm using a planner from last year too. You just put new guts in it. You know, you decorate it however you want. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what they look like on the inside, which pretty much it's identical. I just opened the one, but let me show you here. Six of them, you guys. Okay. They're beautiful. They're a very nice size. Let's see here if I have a, they are seven and three quarters by six and a half. So really nice size. They have like a little clothes or uh, fabric, elastic closey kind of thing here. They have a beautiful gold bookmark here that obviously comes out. And you guys know that they have the planner punch boards that you can do these spiral bounds. And some of the pages and refills and things, they're meant for spiral bound anyway. So you can either buy the punch board or the products that are meant for spiral bound. You've got a really nice acetate uh, dashboard. Now here's where it says 2017. You can take these out. For example, um, I would like to show you guys something really quick in case you've forgotten. Oh, let me grab it here. Okay. Do you guys remember like a year ago when I won this Kate Spade planner? It It's the type of planner that you go as the months go. So it was meant for like, you see May 2017. There was June, so it's not blank. You either use it or you lose it. And so I had to pull out all of 16. And so what I did was I saved the things I wanted to save, like certain dashboards and things like that, dividers. And I realized that it has the same configuration as Recollections. So um, I did buy that planner punch and I can decorate this whenever I want, however I want. So I don't have to abide by its calendar. These is what I mean. I can put in my own months and my own blank ones and make them. And that is what I think is the funnest, is to make your own sheets anyway. So that's gonna kinda be what this is about to a point. So you have your January, and of course you can start wherever you want in your year, but we are in January. So this is already labeled for January 17th, so it's gotta go. But they don't put a lot in here. You see what I mean? They put some notes, which you could use for anything, but you could, easily replace this with the proper year so or you could paint over it you could put some pages in there whatever you guys want to do so that's my point i know it's 17 but it's still a planner and they're very nice books and here in the end they give you um a bunch of little stickers i'll show you here if i can zoom in on there you go 
So it's basically the same stickers that I just showed you guys, but a ton of them. So all planner stickers. And these guys, they're perforated. So you could do this and rip it out, which is very cool. My planner doesn't have that. So in the back here, they've got the stickers, more stickers, and the perforated notes and goals sheets. And then let's see. And then you have a pocket in the back as well. So very nice. All right, I'm gonna be giving all of these away. I don't need them. I have four planners I'm working out of right now. I have one for my craft room, one for my happy mail, and sorry, my craft room is my craft room and videos. One is just for my happy mail, one is for my work, and one is for my art and life. So um, I am going to happily be giving these away. So if you guys are interested, um, comment down below and I'm going to put it to where today's the 20th. I'm going to start it on, let's see here, January 22nd and it'll end on Valentine's Day. So February 14th, it's going to give you guys enough time. If you're interested in a planner, just put, you know, the favorite thing you liked in this video and planner. And that way I know you guys would like one and I will pick the six winners on Valentine's Day. So if you guys are interested, that would be a really nice gift to get, I think, if you're interested in it. And that's about it. You guys, thank you for sticking with me. I know it was a long video, but this does wrap up the three part series of my haul. I hope you guys liked everything. I hope you guys are getting a lot of really good new stuff. I know Mama Elephant came out with some new stuff. Uh, Ellen Hudson, Lawn Fawns release just came out. Well, the announcement of it. There's so much good stuff out there right now, but I hope all of you are having a nice weekend and that's about it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I would love it if you did and uh, come back for more. Bye guys.